Hello and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl JVB. How are you guys doing today? First and foremost, as always, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reaction videos, also my own music. In the description below, you're going to find all the links. I would love for you to join my Patreon to check out my stuff on Spotify and or maybe even buy my NFT and become part of my community. But you might be like, I don't even know who you are. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer and composer, vocal performance coach, and I love doing reaction videos for you guys. Nemophila is back on this channel today. And with no further ado, we want to dive right into it. Revive has been one of the songs, music videos you guys have suggested and recommended. And finally, we're going to be doing it. I love those, these girls so much and I know that you do for sure as well because you've been requesting them. Um, so I want to jump right into it in case you have the official music video. I love these girls. Um, they are pretty badass and um, I love me some good metal. So. And I have to say, Japanese metal is like, there's a movement going on, I feel like. It's always been like metal in Japan, but like a lot of female fronted bands. And it's so, so refreshing to see that. I love that so much. So let's get started. double bass her vocals i mean holy moly like i am <laughs> they're so badass like i'm really digging this this is like the drama is amazing and her vocals i would not expect that from her and i know it's kind of weird to say that but she she's got this awesome raspy like voice you know and she can also really sing and she looks so innocent it's so awesome The whole scenery, the whole setup is awesome. You go, girl! Do you have to enjoy you to watch my 
I really love the visuals. I love the music. I love when she sings. I love both. When she goes, and her raspy stuff and her, her, her growling. It's so cool. I don't even know if it's called growling, but like she's kind of screaming. And then she does a singing part. And I love the contrast of that. I also really love the video because it's like so not like what you would expect. And I have like some mosquitoes in the house. <laughs> Trying to get them. Um, so I really love that. It's really high energy and like, oh my God, these girls are such great musicians as well, you know? So I so appreciate that. Oh my God. And I want her jacket. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. It's a really cool song. I love the, again, the contrast between like her screaming and then singing in the chorus. I love that. <laughs> scream like and the, the interesting part about screaming is that it's like really not like professional screamers <laughs> it's just like a really quiet cap mic thing you know it's not that they're like really actually loud and and like really screaming for the top of the lungs it's technique and she's got really good technique good screaming technique i love it one more time here and i love 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 the video i like this song because it has like it's it's very out there i feel and it's really heavy um but it's also still very melodic and to me i like heavy but i also really like melodic so as long as there's melody in it i can really appreciate it more than just like if it's just noise and just screaming um it's not necessarily my thing unless it's like just really cool <laughs> like pantera for example but usually even he has like this melody in there you know so i appreciate melody um, one more time back to here to the guitar solo. That was a, an amazing guitar solo. I just love when I see girls like throwing down and you know, so good, so good. I can crazy
Oh, so good. Yeah, ending it with a bang. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, <laughs> that was like a sonic attack. <laughs> that was like really, I mean, I feel the riff is so heavy and so powerful. I really loved, loved, loved that. And her voice, she, I love the fact that she can scream and she can sing. I'm so a fan of that. Um, that because that makes a nice, like, you know, balance between the two. And everybody in the band is just like, they're such a solid group. You know, it's just so powerful, the sound they're creating. I really love it. The performance, they're great performers. I would love to see them live. Nimophila is like probably like really bad as live because they have so much energy, you know. Um, wow, amazing song and amazing performance. Great music video. I'm really loving this. Um, and it's kind of funny. Um, the lyrics are pretty aggressive, so I love that. But like, you know, man. They, they have a lot of potential and they are just really, really, really good. And I love, like, I'm reading a few of the comments here and everybody's, like, really into it and loving that. Yeah, Tamu, the thunder goddess with her drums, yeah. Har Haraguchi, serious sans bass as a beating heart of the band. I love that. Crazy guitars and excellent vocals. I know, right? Real mix so sad at all. Like I like that a lot actually. Yeah. Amazing band. I'm glad I discovered them and I love re like discovering new songs of theirs. It's really fun to explore them, you know. Um with that said, let me know in the comments below what did you think of the song, the music video, and what should be the next Nimophila song reaction and or what other bands that are similar to her them should be next um really appreciate you guys and i do definitely appreciate them and their music it's so inspiring to me as always i want to leave you with something positive make every day a great day and man sometimes you just gotta let it out and i feel like that song was kind of like bleh, you know just like letting it all out and just spitting it out um speak your truth because sometimes you just gotta like i said you gotta let it all out speaking your truth because when you speak your truth you really open your throat chakra and when your throat chakra is open you feel you can really express yourself you feel you can really be yourself be you your true unique self versus like being afraid to speak, being afraid of sounding stupid or looking stupid or asking dumb questions. And there's no such thing because we're all learning and we're all here to experience life on our terms and our own time. So, you know, I know that some people, including myself, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm always a little bit slow with things. Um, I feel like I'm sometimes behind, you know, people are already like there and I'm still over here. And we're all exactly where we're meant to be. So remember that and just know that as long as you keep on track and it feels good and it feels right, keep on going and you're going to get there. So take a deep breath, speak your truth, let it out. And even if it's not verbally, just like writing it in a journal will help a lot to release some of that bottled up, maybe anger or whatever emotions are in there, hurt, you know, sadness, whatever that might be. Journaling is so, so, so good for you, for us. Um, and I try to do it as much as I can myself because it really helps me cope with things and just like letting, allowing my, my mind to be uncluttered a little bit, you know, letting just like things that are going on in here. There's like a technique to it that's just like in what so, something happens when you use your hand your actual hand not your fingers like typing in your in your into your phone or into your laptop whatever just like really using a hand and really writing handwriting there's something about the energy that we transmit onto the page that creates something it stimulates our brains and it also like really releases some of the things that want to come out so it's really really healing and it's also very private if you just journal by yourself and or speak the truth you know if you feel like you have to resolve something with somebody this is the time to do it just do it just do it with that said i'm going to let you go like i said check out all the links in the description below i would love for you to check out my own music become one of my uh, nft collectors and holders and become part of my team 
um, basically my label and also you could join my Patreon and be part of the community we are building here on this channel. Music lovers, enthusiasts, you know, uh, there's going to be so much that's lined up that I want to bring to you guys. Um, I also have some new music coming out soon and what else am I going to say? If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe and you hit the like button and the notification bell and I will see you next time. Take care.